The group featured in the film are from West of Scotland Regional Equality Council. Scotland's Urban Past supported them to research and record their building, an old school in Glasgow, to showcase on Doors Open Day. Before you get started, have a think about who you could talk to, how you're going to use the recordings, and what questions you want to ask. What connections? So that it starts with a plot rather than a do. So what kind of motivates you? Like, is it do like more projects? Well, I was involved. I used to do sewing classes for men. Like that was my first project when I started very much. Like pretty good. Yeah, it was fun. Do you ask open questions and questions that invite descriptions, opinions, and feelings. What is CCDP stand for? CCDP that is Chinese Community Development Partner. No, no, Chinese Community Development Project. At that moment, we have carers projects. We have different classes for Mandarin, English, and music class learning um, Japanese as well. That was absolutely fantastic, well done. And you did, well, you did really well. <laughs> On the day of your recording, make sure your consent forms are signed by everyone involved. You can use your phone to record your interviews or conversations or find specialist audio recording equipment online. Remember to practice using the equipment before you record your interviews. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. Are you using a sock? It's a windy day, or even if you're just recording outside or in an echoey space, it's really helpful to have a wee thin sock that'll act as a wind screen. Sock. I'm trying to find where my sound clips are stored on my phone, so I can find out where they are on the computer. Afterwards, download all the recordings, label and save them, and make backup copies. If you want to use extracts of an interview or conversation for an exhibition or a podcast, you can find free software online, like Audacity, to edit them. 